Okay, we're going to adjust the tracks on this because there's no measurement for it. There should be a measurement. I think that you guys can get under here and, and get to them down here, but I'm going to take the pad off so we can see better. Okay? I'm actually just going to take this out. That looks heavy. It is heavy. It's a battery. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to flip it over. So, and I have noticed something else is they've got the, uh, they got brakes on these tracks and it's crazy. And I could feel the grass gets on this wheel and really pushes it out. That's one of the major problems. Magnetic holder. These are just Phillips screws in the bottom. But I had a coworker who over tightened dozer tracks and it destroyed front roller. It actually broke the transmission shaft. Oh my goodness. On a dozer. So adjustment is really important. <clears throat> we can't just have these, them saying that good and tight <laughs> is the answer. It's got to be a measurement. So if anybody comes up with a better measurement than what we come up with today, I will try to put it down in the, uh, the comments below and pin it to the top. If I find a better video or Limo comes out with one, I'll try to put it in there. Just remind me in the comments. Let's work together. Let's get this solved. I mean, we didn't ha even have torque specs for the, the blade. I feel like I'm a NASCAR. <laughs> you would have been laughed about twice now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Mm -hmm. Does everybody know how funny you are? I don't know if they know or not. I get to, I get to hear it every day. Mm -mm. The jokes. Boom. Shaka laka. <laughs> okay, just that panel. Okay, see these right here? We're gonna loosen them up. And then there should be a screw in the back here for the adjustment. Everything's gonna be metric, so let's see what size this is. Ooh, first one. It feels a little loose, but that is a four millimeter. Hopefully, that adjustment screw is the same. Make sure they're loose. You could damage the threads on the adjuster if you don't. Okay, I'm gonna flip this up. We'll see. See it right there? 
Awesome, not the same size. <laughs> I was hoping for that. There we go, okay. So this is a six millimeter. So we have a six and a four. So, you hear that? Go in a little bit. So I'm gonna go off the deflection here. And this needs cleaned off. These wheels. It is sticking to these wheels insanely. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what our deflection is. I think we can go off this piece here. I thought we were gonna have to have something. But just push down. And let's see what we can get. See that That's there? That's a big difference. Big, huge difference. See if you can see this here. We're not gonna get a digital caliper or anything like that. Okay, it looks to be about an inch and a half to me. Okay. Let's see what the other side says. I'm just trying to get the low point about an inch and three quarters. All right, guys. So this is what we're going to try first. It feels a lot better to me. I hate getting all that dust in there. But uh, let's try that, tighten it out, and see what it's like. And hopefully this will fix your problems, your clicking problems, because it's getting bound up. Yeah, it gets really clicky. <laughs> and it's, it's, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna try to get the scrapers. I'll put a link in here. A guy gave out the, where you can 3D print them for free. Hopefully someone makes them so people can buy them. That adjustment there, it's, it's a big difference from the other side. You can tell that is way too tight. Mm -hmm. That is way too tight. If you have your track start come, falling off, you're gonna have to tighten them up. This is gonna be a lot less wear on your machine. The looser the track, the less wear. I mean, it's, it's a lot easier on your bearings and every, everything, so. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. And we'll catch you on the next review. Bye. Bye. So I don't have any torque specs for these either, but if they ever come out, we'll put those in the, in the thing below too. And just tighten these back up and get them good and tight. <laughs> yeah, if anybody knows what these torque specs are for these, I, I'm sure someone knows. Just tell us and we'll put it down in the comments. Very easy. I didn't really loosen that up very much. I didn't feel mm -hmm. like. There we go. It was just like one and a half turns maybe. Yeah. So we'll try to do the, the other side the same. Wooden tight. Okay. There you go.